Good day everyone, I'm Alexis R. Osorio and we will have grade 8 mathematics today about rectangular coordinate system. We will also learn how to plot points in Cartesian coordinate plane. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we are all familiar with the figure. This is called as number line. Specifically, this is called as horizontal number line since the number line is drawn horizontally. The middle point of this number line is zero. The numbers to the left of zero are negative numbers. The numbers to the right of zero are positive numbers. Okay, so we also have vertical number line. The same with the horizontal number line, zero is located at the middle part of this number line. The numbers below zero are negative numbers. The numbers above zero are all positive numbers. Okay, so what if we are going to combine these two number lines? All right, and this will be like this. Okay, kapag ka pinag-asama natin si horizontal number line at si vertical number line, makakabuo tayo ng tinatawag natin na rectangular coordinate system. And this is our lesson for today. Rectangular coordinate system ay tinatawag din natin na Cartesian coordinate system. XY plane at R squared. Okay, so... Uh, Meron tayong iba't ibang tawag dito kaya wag tayong malilito dahil kapag ka sinabi natin na Cartesian plane, Cartesian coordinate system, XY plane, R squared, they are all the same. Okay, so uh, ano nga ba yung tinatawag natin na rectangular coordinate system? Okay, so it is the system used in graphing number pairs in mathematics. It is named after Rene Descartes. Okay, that is why uh, ang isang tawag dito sa Cartesian plane ay R squared because it is named after Rene Descartes. Also, uh, makikita natin sa figure or dito sa Cartesian plane, it is the combination of the two number lines. Okay. Now, this horizontal number line na sinasabi ko kanina, dito sa rectangular coordinate system, ito ay tinatawag na x-axis. Don't forget the term. It's very important. x-axis. Okay. Ito namang isa na uh, vertical number line. It is known as the y-axis. Okay. These two, two terms are very important. So, don't forget. And uh, for us to identify which is x-axis and y-axis, nilalagyan natin ng letter y ang y-axis. At ganun din naman si x-axis. Lalagyan natin ng x para malaman natin na yan ay x-axis at y-axis. Okay. Now, since the two number lines intersect with one another, uh, there is a point of intersection at the middle part of these two number lines. And this is called as origin. Don't forget the term. This is origin. Okay. So, dahil alam na natin na may origin, since it is the combination of two number lines, it is now divided into four parts. At yung apat na parts na yun ay tinatawag natin na quadrants. Quadrants are the regions in the coordinate plane. Okay, so it is uh, counterclockwise. The, uh, the direction is counterclockwise like uh, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Okay, counterclockwise ang direction natin. Okay, next. This is our uh, question. How to plot points in Cartesian coordinate plane? O nga naman, paano nga ba tayo mag-plot ng points sa Cartesian plane? Okay, para malaman natin, let us start with this. 
every point in the coordinate plane can be described by an ordered pair in the form x, y. Okay, ang tawag dito sa point natin, it is any point in the Cartesian plane. That is known as ordered pair or coordinates. Okay, dalawa ang tawag natin. Don't forget the terms. Ordered pair, coordinates. Okay, so dito sa ordered pair natin, we have two variables, which is x and y. Okay, so yung x natin, yung nasa unahan, it is the first number sa coordinates natin. Ang tawag natin sa first number sa coordinates ay x coordinate. O para hindi tayo malito, alam natin x ay nasa unahan, x coordinate. May isa pang tawag sa x coordinate at yun ay abscissa. Spelled as A-B-S-C-I-S-S-A. -S -S okay, wag malilito sa spelling dahil uh, marami nagkakamali dito. So sa unang number natin, Meron tayong x-coordinate or abscissa. Sa pangalawang number natin, which is the y, it is known as y-coordinate. It is also known as ordinate. Okay. Magkaiba ang coordinates sa ordinate. Huwag mali dito. Okay. So, halimbawa, meron tayong given point, which is 5, negative 3. Kaya ba natin i-identify kung alin si x-coordinate? Okay, what do you think is the x-coordinate? Okay, narinig ko, sumagot. 5, tama ba? Okay, 5 is the x-coordinate. Now, what is the y-coordinate? Negative 3. Okay, so alam natin kung paano. Kung paano i-identify ang x-coordinate at y-coordinate. Okay. Abscissa ay 5, ordinate, negative 3. Huwag malilito sa mga terms dahil bawat isa ay meron pang another term. So, uh, please don't forget the other term. Okay. So now, let us try to do this. Plot the following points. Okay, A, 3, negative 1, and B, negative 2, 5. Okay, so may mga points tayo sa Cartesian plane at pinapangalanan natin yun ng mga capital letters such as from letters A to Z. Any letters will do. Okay. Ang paglalagay natin ng points ay 3, negative 1. Okay, so please take note the use of parenthesis. Okay, kasi minsan nagkakamali tayo. Ito ang tamang uh, paraan to represent a point on the coordinate plane. Because this is different from 3 uh, times negative 1. Magkaiba yan. Uh, yung pangalawa natin, it, it denotes multiplication. Okay, so susundin natin yung nasa taas. Alright, ganun din naman si point B, which is negative 2, 5. Okay, so now, let us try to plot point A. Ang point A natin ay merong 3, negative 1. And that is in the form of x, y. We already know ang x coordinate ay 3, y coordinate ay negative 1. Paano kaya natin malalaman kung saan ilalagay si point A? Okay, so to start with, punta muna tayo kay origin. Origin, tanda pa ba si origin? Okay, that is the point of intersection. Okay, so dahil point A ang ipaplot natin at ang x-coordinate natin is 3, sa x-axis muna tayo titingin. Sa horizontal number line, which is positive 3. Saan kaya natin makikita si positive 3? Sa kaliwa ng 0 or sa kanan ng 0? Okay, tingnan natin. Okay, doon ang positive 3. Okay, pero hindi pa dyan natatapos. Okay, tandaan, 3 units to the right of 0 because that is positive. Okay, from this point, nakuha na natin si x coordinate. Y coordinate naman. From this point, dahil ang y coordinate natin is negative 1, saan natin makikita ang negative numbers sa y axis? It is above zero or below zero. 
Okay, that's correct. Below zero. Negative numbers are below uh, zero in the y-axis. So, dito natin makikita si negative 1. So, from here, this will be our point A. So, ito na ngayon, si point A, which is 3, negative 1. So, napakasimple lang. So, kailangan lang natin tandaan na lagi tayong unang titingin kay x-axis sa x-coordinate bago tayo pupunta kay y-axis, y-coordinate. Okay, how about point B? Let us try to plot point B. Negative 2, positive 5. Okay, so the same process with point A. Let's start with um, the origin. Ang x-coordinate natin is negative 2. Okay, negative 2 saan makikita? Kaliwa o kanan? Okay, so sa kaliwa ng 0. So, that is 2 units to the left of 0. Okay, ayun, ang negative 2. Next. Next natin is the y-coordinate. Ang y-coordinate natin is positive 5. Saan makikita si positive 5 pag y-coordinate? Is it upward or downward? Pag positive, that is upward or above. 0. So, 5 units upward. So, from this point, punta tayo 5 units upward. And that is our point B. Napakasimple. So, ganun lang. Lagi lang natin tatandaan na unang tinitignan si X coordinate followed by Y coordinate para hindi tayo malito. So, this is the point, which is point C. 0, 4. Hmm. Saan kaya natin makikita si point C? Okay, so ang x-coordinate natin dito is 0. y-coordinate is 4. Okay, the same process. Let us start with the origin. Ang x-coordinate natin ay 0. Kailangan ba natin pumunta sa kaliwa or kanan? Okay, no. Kasi 0. So, stay lang tayo dito sa gitna. And then y coordinate is positive 4 is it upward or downward okay that is upward so 4 units upward from the origin 4 units upward 1 2 3 4 and that is our point okay point c 0 4 as simple as that okay next how about let's try point d Point D, negative 3, 0. Okay. The same process. Start again with the origin. And our x-coordinate is negative 3. Okay, negative 3 sa x-axis tayo titingin. Okay, that is 3 units to the left of 0. Okay, next. From this point, ang y-coordinate natin is 0. So, do we need to move upward or downward? Okay, no need kasi zero. So, this is now our point D. Negative 3, 0. Napakasimple, di ba? Okay, so don't forget the steps or the processes on how to plot points dahil napakadali lang. How about this? What if we are going to find uh, the coordinates of point E? So, the reverse process. Kanina, nagbigay tayo ng point at hinanap natin kung saan sa Cartesian plane yun. Ay, ngayon naman, meron tayong point, ano kaya yung coordinates nitong point na ito, which is point E. Okay. So, let's see. Para malaman natin ang coordinates ni point E, let's start at the origin. We are going to count the units from the origin at kung saan ito aligned in the x-axis. Okay, bilangin natin. Ilang units from the origin up to the point aligned to point E. Okay, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. 5 units ang layo ni point E sa origin. That is horizontally. Okay, so 5 units 
Therefore, x coordinate natin is positive 5 because that is going to the right of 0. Next, how about if we are going to find the y coordinate? Okay, the same process, but this time, hahanapin natin kung gano kalayo si uh, point E from the origin. Okay, so from this point, kailangan aligned si point E para malaman natin kung gano kalayo ito from the origin. So the same process, ang bibilangin naman natin ngayon, ang units going upward, and that is 2 units from the origin. And that is positive 2. So that is why point E is 5, 2. Okay. So ganun lang. Ngayon, how about this point? Let us see. Let's try if you can find the coordinates of point G. I will give you 10 seconds to find the coordinates of point G. If your answer is a negative 1, negative 4, that is correct. Okay, nakasunod. Okay, ibig sabihin, maintindihan kung paano kunin ang coordinates using uh, the given point. Okay. Now, the signs of the coordinates of a point tell us in which quadrant the point lies. Okay, so in quadrant 1, uh, the signs of the ordered pair... In the form x, y, they are both positive. x coordinate and y coordinate, pareha silang positive. In quadrant number 2, the x coordinate is negative, the y coordinate is positive. In quadrant 3, they are both negative. In quadrant 4, the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative. Let's try in which quadrant can we find point A, which is, or the coordinates are 4, 8? Um, that's quadrant 1. How about point J, 2, negative 12? Saan kaya ito? If your answer is quadrant 4, you are correct. Okay, ngayon. Paano kaya kapag kaganto naman ang ating given? Point E, 6, 0. Saan kaya natin makakita yan? Hmm, 6, 0. Hmm, may 0. Okay, so wala siya sa mga quadrant. It is not located in quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4 because it is located in the x-axis. Okay. Specifically in the positive x-axis. How about point H? 0, negative 1. Saan kaya siya located? If your answer is y-axis, that is great. Okay, so thank you so much. And that would be all for today. I hope you learned something. And thank you.